right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Today's guest is LP. She is an extraordinary, world-renowned artist. I think it's really interesting that some songs that just went to number one in, like, other areas of the world. Yeah. What was that like? You know, I was dropped from Warner Brothers. I had been on there for three years, and, like, all the personnel changed. And, you know, when it started, it felt like it was really, like, a big deal, and everybody was very behind me. And then, you know, same old stories. People get fired, fired, fired. And then if, then suddenly with new people who don't understand you, you know? Yeah. And the last thing that happened uh, was I was brought in to, like, the new president and chairman who listened to, they listened to Lost on You, which is, like, the, the big song that um, really got me out there. Uh, Strange and uh, Muddy Waters, which was you know, on a big show, and, and it's gotten synced many times and stuff. So they, I came in, I played them those songs, and they dropped me. Um, and I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, like, it was like, yeah, and, uh, you know, I had to really kind of hold on to my hat for a second and be like, uh, uh, what? Okay, yeah. And then, you know, like, what, like, what next? Like, you know, it wasn't like one of those, like, I just showed you the best work of my life. Like, I had no idea. You know, it wasn't yeah. like, you know, I was just like, oh, shit, I guess, I guess that wasn't, you know, like, it either. You know, but, yeah. but, but I also was like, what are at least these indie stuff? During that year, during the beginning of 2016, I saw a DM, and it's from a guy in Greece, um, and it said, from Cobalt, it's like this uh, guy, his name is Penny Otis, uh, he was the head of a label there, and he was saying, uh, he'd like to license my songs for uh, Greece. He said, I can't get an answer from your label, so can you give me your uh, manager's info, your publisher's info? Give it to them, and I forget all about it. I don't say a word. Um, I just like, keep going with my, um, my life, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, my manager says, like, you know, a months later, he's like, yeah, you know, um, the song's doing great in Greece. It's like on, it's on the charts. And I was like, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> you know, like, I didn't, I was like, there was like a disconnect. There was no, I wasn't waiting to hear what the song did. I just like completely didn't think about it. But anyway, it kept growing, growing, went to number one, and then Italy, they wanted to license it too, and then yeah. it went number one, then France, and then it went, you know, and it just kept kept going, and, and so, you know, I just, I love telling that story, because here we have a song that I was dropped from my label with, I had a debt of $1.6 million, and um, that, you know, I got dropped, and that was done, I didn't know them any money, and then all of a sudden, boom, I had, like, this huge hit on my hands, and it was... And just showed me that, you know, some man's trash is another's treasure, you know? Like, it's just like, just go yeah. on. I have to keep writing songs. I always thought this anyway, but I it really drove the point home that, you know, you just write what you feel and, and then let, let it fucking roll. You know? I love that. I love that the very song that you basically got dropped for. It's a <laughs> song that, like, you are known yeah. for. Let me just say a couple stats. I, for everyone listening, I need to brag about my new friend because just to say that we're friends at this point. Um, so your single, Lost on You, has over a billion streams. It has been number one in 17 countries around the world, and it most recently went diamond in Mexico. That's huge. I'm sorry, but, like, I don't know for any artist, even if you're Ariana Grande, like, those are huge numbers, and that just doesn't happen. So the fact that that happened to you with a song that was rejected... I yeah. just think it's so hopeful for anyone to hear. But <laughs> my, my girlfriend, um, um, I also like to brag. So <laughs> oh, let's hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dang. See, look there. I didn't even have to read off the stats because there's the proof right there. I love it. You know, by the way, we both have a friend in common. Uh, we've both done yoga with Lori yeah. Risher. <laughs> you do yoga with her too? I do. Uh, she's just such a light of a human being, you know? And yeah. <laughs> literally, she is so, I don't know, I just feel like I draw so much power from her when I'm around yeah. her, especially doing yoga. And, you know, you have this very, like, chill, like, calming presence, even though it's just through Zoom, like, I can feel it about you. And so you're a part of this, like, crazy industry with highs and lows. How do you maintain that kind of clarity and balance through it all? Well, I think, honestly, I swear to you, you know, that you just brought it up with yoga, but, like, that is a huge presence in my life, you know? I mean, you know, it teaches you a lot, a lot of things, but one of them, one of the messages of it, I feel, is that um, how to feel comfortable being uncomfortable, you know? Yeah. And I think that, that it gave me that a lot, you know, even, like, with heat, you know, I, I'm, like, a weirdo. Like, I'm on tour, and I'm in a hotel in July, and I, like... I walk in my hotel room, I might, have, I might be in there for a day or two, and I just click off the AC, and I'm just like, whoosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't really like it. It's just too cold, and I'll, like, do yoga in there and everything. I'm like, and, you know, like, my, like, a bandmate will come in, and I'll be like, Jesus, it's so 
so I'm like, right? I know, it feels good, you know? But it's like I got very comfortable kind of not being like super comfortable on top of me and it helped me to like really maintain um, my, um, my zen. Well, I'm yeah. excited for your album to come out. When does it come out? Um, well, you know, I think we, we were planning on September, October, but I know, I think now we're kind of going to maybe go January, February. Oh, exciting. Yeah. Well, everybody, stay tuned for some great new music. I can't wait yeah. to hear it. Um, thanks again for coming on and chatting with me today, <laughs> allowing me to, like, play with your song. I, I, again, loved the song. I love your stuff. Thank you for doing this. Awesome. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.